first, let me just say that there is already one video about sewing coats on my channel. All coats are sewn in a similar way, so if there is anything unclear about this tutorial, check out the other video, it is divided into chapters so you can easily find the part that is most interesting to you. If you have any questions or run into any difficulties when sewing your coat, feel free to contact me. The first thing to do, is to cut out all the pattern pieces from paper. You will notice, that the pattern does not include the belt. Amongst the files, you will find a table with dimensions of the belt for each size. Keep it in mind, while you align the pattern pieces on the fabric. First, cut out all the pieces from your main fabric. In my case, it is 100% wool duffel, perfect for the winter. You can also use this pattern for a lighter cotton coat for the spring or autumn season. After cutting out all the pieces from the wool fabric, mark the placement of the pockets on the fabric using a loose stitch. Next, with the help of a cardboard pattern, highlight it with Taylor's chalk. Mark the spot on both sides of the fabric. Fuse iron-on interfacing at the place where the pockets will be attached, on the reverse side of the fabric. For larger segments, such as the front or front facings, I use non-woven fusible interfacing, while for smaller pieces, a standard woven fusible interfacing. Areas that require interfacing are highlighted in pink. Now it's time to prepare the back of the lining. Cut the back along the waistline and switch it for a back lining. Cut the back vent along the marked line. Done! Cut out this piece one time by aligning the middle of the back on the fold of the fabric. Now let's make the pockets. Fold the pocket welt in half and iron it out. So the pocket bag cut out from the lining fabric onto the pocket welt right side to right side.
Align both pocket bags at the opening of the pocket, and sew them on. Make sure that the stitches have identical length, and the distance between them is the same, it is very important. Now cut the pockets open. Cut as close as possible to the corners, taking care not to cut the stitches. Turn the pockets inside out. The triangular pieces need to be sewn onto all the layers of the pockets. Align all the layers and stitch the pocket around. Stitch together the front, side front, side back and back, minding the notches. Repeat all steps for the other side of the coat, and sew together the two halves along the middle of the back. Don't forget about a back vent. Iron all the seams. Stitch together the shoulders.
the body of the coat is ready. We need to prepare the front facing, sew together the back neck facing and the front facing. Sew together the collar and make a small cut in the rounded part. Under stitch along the middle of the collar. Iron out the collar and cut off any excess fabric. Fold the collar in half and mark the middle. To prevent the collar from moving while you sew it on, baste it by the edge. Attach the collar to the neck minding the notches. Place the collar with the understitch towards the right side of the fabric. Now attach the facing, baste all the layers and sew it on. If you find it easier, you can first sew on the collar and then the facing. Personally, I prefer to sew the layers together all at once.
When the collar is attached, sew together the front pieces of the coat and the facing. Make notches in the rounded parts and cut short the seam allowances. Iron it out. The collar is ready. Sew together upper sleeve and under sleeve. Sew together the sides of the sleeve. Remember that one side is longer, and you need to wrinkle it a little while you sew the two pieces together. The best way to do this is to lay the longer piece on the feed dog. Iron all the seams. Select maximum stitch length and make two or three parallel stitches on the sleeve head. Pull the threads to form the sleeve. Baste and sew on the sleeves. Attach the sleeve head and shoulder pad to the seam allowances.
Prepare the lining front, side front, side back and back. Sew them together, just like with the main fabric. Note that the back is a single piece of fabric. Sew together the middle of the back on the neck making a fold. Sew together the middle of the back. Remember to keep a back vent. Make a small cut in the corner and iron out the fold. Attach the sleeves leaving a hole for turning the coat inside out. You do not need to wrinkle the sleeves before sewing them on like you did with the main fabric. Just make a fold from excess fabric and place it in the middle of the shoulder. Now you need to attach the lining to the facing of the coat. You can do what I did and sew on a decorative piping on the edge of the facing but it is optional. Align the right side of the lining with the right side of the facing, baste and sew together. Now it is time for the back vent. Fold one side of the vent in half and hold together with pins.
Cut the other side leaving 1 cm from the middle of the vent. Use the previously cut paper vent to make a pattern. Cut along the line and make the bottom of the pattern 1 cm shorter. Align the pattern on the edge in the middle of the lining back and cut out. Note how I align the pattern, it is very important. Remove the pins and align the right side of the lining to the right side of the vent. Sew on leaving the uppermost 1 cm of the vent unstitched. Repeat this step on the left side of the vent. To attach the lining at the top of the vent, cut it slantwise to the seam.
set the vent in a straight line and sew on the top of the lining by hand. If you think it is too complicated for you, you can sew everything on by hand. Simply lap 1 cm of the seam allowance, iron it out, make a slanted notch at the top of the vent and sew it on. Now it is time to finish the bottom of the coat. Turn the coat inside out through the hole in the sleeve. Align the lining and the coat so that the seams meet. Begin sewing from the facing at 3 cm and sew along a curve up to 1 cm. Cut off any excess fabric and corners. Turn the coat back to the right side, fold 2 cm from the bottom of the coat, baste the bottom and the back vent. Turn the coat inside out and close the bottom seams using a hand blind stitch. Repeat the step on the vent. Fix the vent by stitching together all the layers of the coat slantwise.
Arrange the bottom of the sleeves and lining in their proper position, and fix with one pin. Turn the sleeve inside out through the hole in the lining. The pin shows you the correct position of the lining. Make the lining 1 cm shorter, align it and sew onto the sleeve. Note the cutout triangles along the fold of the sleeves, thanks to them the fabric is not thicker at the seams. Baste the right side of the sleeve at 2 cm, turn it inside out through the hole in the lining and close the seams by hand blind stitch. Finally, it is time to make the belt. I did not have enough fabric left so my belt was made of two separate pieces. Align the belt right to right and sew together leaving a hole for turning it out to the right side. Sew the ends together in a slanted or straight line. Cut off any excess fabric in the corners and one of the seam allowance. Turn the belt out to the right side. Iron out and close the seam using hand blind stitch. <laughs> 